Nihao YouTube, what's going on? Salon to China, back again. Uh, today we want to discuss a topic that already many you know, subscribers were asking us actually. Um, and this is about how we can in China actually save for our retirement or do we actually have a pension plan, a retirement plan? Uh, is the money we earn enough to build any kind of uh, pension plan? Mm. We want to discuss this today. What that's, do you think? That's a good question. Yeah, like um, I basically didn't put like a lot of thought in it for now because I'm definitely will stay here for two years in China or more. Mm -hmm. You will stay a lot more, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah but if I would like stay for a way longer time than the two years I uh, definitely have to think about that and um, yeah like I don't really get a uh, like high salary compared to the money I would have earned in other countries for the same job but for China it's pretty we definitely get more than our let's say Chinese colleagues yeah yeah definitely and I mean the thing is like maybe in China you don't earn a lot but depending on where you work you can save a lot and this is one of the things you have to know before you go to China because maybe you will earn like 1000 euros a month 1000 yeah, US dollars that, yeah. maybe a bit more um, maybe a bit less um, and the first thing that comes to mind is that oh this is not a lot of money how can I actually save for my uh, retirement plan or for my retirement and the answer is pretty easy uh, depending on where you live you can save around 50 to 60 or maybe even 70 percent of your income um, depending on what you buy here yeah, or definitely. depending on how you live which means that every month you can uh, save around 500 to maybe even 700 euros which is actually not too bad which is like 9,000 maybe sometimes 10,000 uh, euros a year that you can save here uh, depending on your salary and your biggest problem will be how to invest this money for your private um, pension plan or no, your retirement and this is what you think about you you should think about before going to China or when living in China for a longer time like you just said okay maybe you want to stay here uh, one more year two more years maybe in the end it'll be three <laughs> more years four more years when I arrived in China I wanted to stay uh, one year <laughs> then it was two years then three years <clears throat> and now it's already my fifth year so um, this is the time when you should think about private uh, investments uh, you should do with the money because there will be money you can save. Um, for sure, when you just arrive in China, you want to travel a lot. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, when you are younger and you want to see the world, probably you won't save too much. But <laughs> let's say when you're like in your 30s or 40s or 50s, and you're like living a frugal lifestyle here in China and you're able to save between 700, 800, maybe even 1000 euros a month. This is when you should start thinking about where to put your money. And you, let me ask you another question. How do you know that when you are working in Germany, you can be sure of having a very good retirement or a very good pension when you retire in 30, 40 or 50 years? How can you know that? Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good question. And I think, uh, like you said, it's uh, really the problem that uh, as like if you're young, you definitely don't put a lot of thought into it mm. because for me, I, I'm not sure, like we have like this retirement fund, you know, so if you work like anything, you get, like, you're direct automatically like 
pay for the retirement fund. So, but it in will Germany. be yeah in Germany. Mm -hmm. But it will be really low. You know, like it depends on your job. If you like earn a lot of money, maybe maybe retirement fund could be enough. But if you don't earn uh, too much money, if you get older, you definitely need like another source of income. Yeah. For that. So, actually, I, I already see it like this. If you are working in China, you are forced. You are forced to think about your private investments. You need to do. You absolutely need to do in order to have something in the future. And what we do is like we cannot rely on our state. Uh, because right now, I'm, I'm, me personally, I'm not paying any uh, retirement funds in my own country. So right now, if I would retire right now, I would get zero euros mm -hmm. from the state. But this will probably be the case for people who are working in Germany for 30, 40, 50 years that do not earn a very good salary. Like if you earn, for example, like 2,000 euros a month in Germany, might not be enough to have a good retirement in the future, right? And so, but those people think they might have a good retirement, but we already know we have to take care about this early and on our own uh, responsibility. It's, it will be our own responsibility, which means that we have to think about ways of private investments very, very early. And this is what I recommend to you if you want to work in China on a long term or if you are already working in China. So which kind of private investments could you do? Like, uh, I don't know, like, for example, stock market. Mm -hmm. But many people I know that didn't have, like, the best experiences with it. So, and you first of all need, like, a lot of money to invest in order to make money. But maybe someone is like really good in it and knows a lot about like uh, yeah. investing and so I think, on. I think before you put money into stocks, you, you should know the company very, very well. You should know exactly where you put your money. Yeah, and definitely. if there is really a, a future perspective on, on, on where you're putting your money. Um, so with stocks, yeah, you, you, should, you should really know where you put your uh, in which kind of stocks you put your money otherwise it might be a bit risky um, yeah. yeah apart from that you also like in Germany you can uh, I think also in other country you can have like a certain savings account or something like this mm -hmm. even you can have a like it's like a governmental savings account and yeah. you put a lot some money there and you tell them okay I won't like take the money for 10 years and they give you like a certain a percentage of interest right now yeah right it now it's not really very, high. very few <laughs> especially the governmental is not it's pretty safe but not now you don't get a lot of money out of it yeah um, so yeah, yeah that, that is a different story like putting your money on a bank account uh, in German like it's Festgeld, Tagesgeld, stuff like this put your money on a uh, uh, Staatsanleihen nee, Staatsanleihen oder so nee, wie nennt man dieses hier oh, I um, don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, like if you, if you wanna if you wanna get like a certain money out of the, out of the the money you invest in banks and stuff, probably that's not a very good idea because right now you don't get much of that. And the third thing you can do is buy like apartments, buy a house, property, mm. property, or buy property. That's the word which I was looking mm -hmm. for. <laughs> but problem there is you need like a lot of money. It depends where you buy it. Like, I don't know, if you buy a like, smaller city, of course the rent is not very high, so the, the price for the apartment or the house is also not really high. Uh, but if you buy like in a big city where, the rent, where you can ask for a lot of money for the rent, of course you pay like a lot for like, even like a room or something. But like, imagine, like imagine you're working in China for five years and you're able to save 10,000 euros or US dollars uh, a year. Mm. Uh, that means like every five years you can buy a small apartment. Yeah, probably. Not, yeah. not, not a major city like uh, Munich or, or Hamburg no, or whatever. No, you can go to Saarbrücken. Uh, yeah, you can go to smaller cities and you can find uh, apartments, cheaper apartments there. Uh, for example, in Saarland. Yeah. And uh, you, can, you can buy apartments there and then you can rent it out. 
and then every month you will get your, your rent, right? 200 euros, 300 euros. And after five years, you buy, or after four years maybe, because you get some rent, you get some extra money, after four years, you buy the next apartment, and then you get like four or 500 euros a month with your apartments, and after 15 years, you buy the third apartment, and then you already might have 600, 700, 800 euros a month, and after 20 years, you buy the next apartment, and don't forget, the rent will be more and more expensive and the value of your property will hopefully, usually, hopefully, yeah. usually <laughs> and hopefully uh, increase.